Welcome to our exploration of the signs of the Day of Judgment in Islamic prophecy. In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the key signs and their meanings. The Day of Judgment, or Yom al qiyamah is a fundamental concept in Islamic belief. It signifies the end of the world and the moment when all individuals will be held accountable for their deeds. Understanding the signs associated with this day is crucial for Muslims, as it holds great relevance to our faith and daily lives. Stay with us as we uncover these fascinating insights and delve deeper into the significance of this pivotal event in Islam. Yom al qiyamah or the Day of Judgment, is a pivotal concept in Islamic theology. It represents the day when all of humanity will be resurrected and judged by Allah for their deeds. The Quran and Hadith emphasize its importance, reminding us of the inevitable accountability we face. The Quran states in Surah Al-Zalzala, when the earth is shaken with its final earthquake and the earth discharges its burdens, humanity will say, what is wrong with it? Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, also said, the feet of the son of Adam will not move from before his Lord on the day of judgment until he is asked about five things, his life, how he spent it, his youth, how he used it, his wealth, how he earned it and spent it, and how he acted upon his knowledge. This day plays a vital role in shaping our moral and ethical behavior, encouraging us to live righteously and justly. The signs of the Day of Judgment are categorized into minor and major signs. Minor signs, or Alamat al-Sugra, are events that have been occurring over an extended period serving as precursors. Examples include the spread of ignorance, widespread immorality, and the loss of trust. Major signs, or Alamat al-Kubra, are catastrophic events that signal the imminent arrival of the Day of Judgment. These include the appearance of the Dajjal, the return of Jesus, and the emergence of Gog and Magog. The significance of these signs lies in their role as warnings and reminders for believers to prepare for the final day, emphasizing the importance of faith and righteous deeds. Now, let's discuss some notable minor signs. One significant sign is the spread of ignorance and the decline of knowledge, as mentioned in various hadiths. We also observe an increase in natural disasters, which serve as reminders of the transient nature of this world. Additionally, moral decay and widespread corruption are prevalent, reflecting the weakening of ethical values. Another sign is the construction of tall buildings, as prophesied in hadiths, where people compete in building higher and more adorned structures. Lastly, there is a trend of people competing in adorning mosques, focusing more on the outward appearance rather than the essence of worship. Each of these signs is supported by relevant hadiths, providing us with clear examples to reflect upon. Another minor sign is the increase in trade and business activities, where people become more engrossed in worldly gains. The widespread use of technology and social media, leading to the spread of misinformation and distractions from spiritual growth, is also noted. There is also a rise in entertainment and leisure activities, diverting attention from religious obligations and duties. The increase in religious debates and divisions among scholars, causing confusion and disunity within the Muslim community, is another sign. Lastly, the display of wealth and luxurious lifestyles where people compete in showing off their riches is a sign of the times. These additional signs, along with the previously mentioned ones, provide a comprehensive understanding of the minor signs of the Day of Judgment. In the grand narrative of the Day of Judgment, there are several major signs that have been foretold. Among these is the appearance of the Mahdi, the Guided One, who will lead the Muslims and restore justice. The Mahdi's arrival is often linked to a period of great turmoil and injustice, as described in various hadiths. Following this, the Dajjal, known as the Antichrist, will emerge, spreading falsehood and deception. Scholars like Ibn Kathir have detailed the Dajjal's deceptive powers and the trials he will bring. Then, we have the descent of Isa, Jesus, who will return to defeat the Dajjal and bring peace. This event is supported by numerous hadiths, emphasizing Jesus' role in restoring justice. Another significant event is the appearance of Gog and Magog, known as Yajuj and Majuj, who will cause widespread chaos and destruction. Historical texts describe them as a barbaric tribe that will break through a barrier and wreak havoc. We are also told of three major landslides, one in the east, one in the west, and one in the Arabian Peninsula. 
These landslides are seen as divine signs of the approaching end times. The smoke, or dukan, will envelop the earth, affecting all people. Scholars like Al-Qurtubi have interpreted this as a sign of divine wrath. The beast of the earth, Dabat Alard, will emerge, marking people as believers or disbelievers. This event is mentioned in the Quran and elaborated upon in hadiths. The marking by the beast will be a clear sign of one's faith or lack thereof, as interpreted by scholars like Ibn Abbas. One of the most striking signs will be the sun rising from the west, a phenomenon that will signal the closing of the doors of repentance. This is a widely accepted sign among Islamic scholars. The sun rising from the west is seen as a final warning to humanity, urging them to repent before it's too late. Finally, a great fire will emerge, gathering people to their place of assembly. This fire is described in hadiths as a force that will drive people to the final gathering. Each of these signs is supported by hadiths and scholarly interpretations that provide deeper insights into their meanings and implications. Scholars like Al-Ghazali and Ibn Taymiyyah have offered extensive commentaries on these events, enriching our understanding of the Day of Judgment. Scholars have long debated the interpretation of these signs, often discussing whether they should be understood symbolically or literally. Some signs, like the sun rising from the west, are seen by many as literal events, while others, such as the appearance of the beast, may have symbolic meanings. Different schools of thought, regardless of their interpretation, the purpose of these signs remains clear. They serve as powerful reminders for believers to stay steadfast in their faith and to prepare for the inevitable day of judgment. As we contemplate these signs, it's crucial to emphasize the importance of spiritual readiness. Practical steps for Muslims to prepare include strengthening their faith through prayer, fasting, and good deeds. Seeking knowledge and staying informed about Islamic teachings is also vital. Moreover, upholding justice, kindness, and integrity in daily life helps cultivate a soul ready for the Day of Judgment. To recap, We've discussed the major signs of the Day of Judgment, the scholarly interpretations, and the importance of spiritual readiness. It's a call to reflect on our lives and strive for righteousness. Remember, the Day of Judgment is not just about fear, but also about the mercy and justice of Allah. As we conclude, I encourage you to be mindful of the signs and to prepare earnestly for that day. May we all be guided and ready for the Day of Judgment.